In the 1940s, researchers Charles Huggins and Clarence Hodges discovered that when men's testosterone production dropped, their prostate cancer stopped growing. The researchers also found that giving testosterone to men with prostate cancer made their cancer grow. They concluded that testosterone promotes prostate cancer growth. As further evidence, one of the main treatments for prostate cancer, hormone therapy, slows cancer growth by lowering testosterone levels in the body. The belief that testosterone fuels prostate cancer growth has led many doctors to avoid prescribing testosterone therapy for men who have a history of prostate cancer. In recent years, research has challenged the link between testosterone and prostate cancer. Some studies have contradicted it, finding a higher risk of prostate cancer among men with low testosterone levels. A 2016 meta-analysis of research found no relationship between a man's testosterone level and his risk of developing prostate cancer. Another review of studies showed that testosterone therapy doesn't increase the risk of prostate cancer or make it more severe in men who've already been diagnosed. According to a 2015 review in the journal Medicine, testosterone replacement therapy also doesn't increase prostate-specific antigen or PSA levels. PSA is a protein that's elevated in the bloodstream of men with prostate cancer. Whether testosterone therapy is safe for men with a history of prostate cancer is still an open question. More studies are needed to understand the connection. The existing evidence suggests that testosterone therapy may be safe for some men with low testosterone who have successfully completed prostate cancer treatment and are at low risk for a recurrence. In addition, it's safe to say that testosterone replacement therapy does not cause prostate cancer.